What's up everybody, it's your boy Steve from The Wise Corner and today we're going to be looking at Brandon from Case and Dow's um, mod of the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms Mill Spec using the Seiko NZH55 for the base of this mod. The parts are from, I'm probably going to rip this up, Yakabokis. The hands are from Namco Mods. The collab was with Hodinkee on these um, pieces, okay, now Brandon's modding it to look like it, limited to 250 pieces, starting price was $14,500, now prices are $19,000 to $25,000, that is like crazy, the rich history with Blanc Pine is with the U.S. Navy making uh, watches, so basically this takes a uh, classic military design is what this is on, so we'll go ahead and get this camera flipped around, and get this thing started, but also I will put the pinned comment. We'll have Brandon's Instagram account on there for all your modding needs. He is the man, trust me. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Here we go, but before we start, let's look at what I'm rocking here. The ISL 43 Mark from Long Island Watches. I'm calling this Forest or Hunter Green Dial Pilot's Watch on this beautiful tan strap with the Islander logo on the buckle. I am loving this. It is amazing. So let's go ahead and look at Brandon's mod. And like I said, you'll have to look at the pin's description because I'm gonna put his Instagram and tie it to this. So here we go. This thing is beautiful. It looks spot on to the Blanc Pond, a Houdinki one. I love that orange uh, half circle with the white too. It's awesome. Now this is the 7S26 movement, no hacking, no hand winding. And on this beautiful, beautiful strap here by Richie, it's like this cloth material with the leather in the inside. Very, very nice 22 millimeter. You have the exhibition case back where you see the Seiko, see the Seiko movement. I mean, this thing is a beauty. Brandon got this thing spot on. I mean, for real, he did. Uh, I will leave also the link to the Blanc Pond Houdinki one too. And you can tell me, man, he did an amazing, amazing job on this. This thing was awesome. And thank you to uh, Brandon for letting us out. It was actually an average Joe watch reviews over the weekend since me and my wife went up there to spend with uh, AJ and his wife. I uh, reached out to Brandon to see if I could bring it home with me and then ship it back. And I'm going to do an Instagram photo shoot, wear it a few days, promote this puppy. Because, I mean, Brandon is such an amazing guy. Let me tell you, and he's so talented. This thing is definitely awesome. We'll get a couple measurements because I'm not really doing a review on it. So we'll go ahead and get some measurements on this thing. I'm not really the greatest at doing this stuff on camera, but you got to learn sometime, right? So what do we got there? 40 mil, basically. Do the lug, lug tip to lug tip. 44. Case back. The crystal, we're in at uh, exactly a 13. It's a 22 millimeter lug width, as said on the Richie strap here. Definitely a very cool specked out watch here for sure. I just can't believe that people were paying 14 to $25,000 for this. And I mean, this bezel action is like butter. Brandon knows what he's doing with that. Let me tell you, I got one in the shop to him right now. He's uh, fixing the bezel action on just like butter. And uh, after this, I'm gonna show the B-roll on my wrist and the loom on this puppy too. So that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you're not, and hit that bell notification so you know when all my videos come up. I appreciate every single one of you so much. It's been an amazing journey. I'm so blessed and thankful for all the collaborations that are just loading into the channel. 
Um, you know, this is my third unboxing since yesterday, and I have another one right after this one. So I'm very blessed and thankful and humbled by this. Please remember, time is short. Let someone you care about know how much you love them today, and have a great evening.